Hey everyone, it's Tori and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. For today's video, I'm going to be setting up my junk drawer bullet journal. I've talked a little bit about what I plan on doing with this journal as well as reviewing it in my stationery haul video, which will be linked down below and in the cards if you want to watch. Basically, I was going to call this my junk journal, but junk journaling is already a thing, and it's not really the vibe I'm going for for this journal because junk journaling is a lot more artistic and scrapbook-like, and I'm calling this my junk drawer bullet journal because it's a place where I'm putting things I need often, but they don't really have a specific place in my 2021 bullet journal, which is also in the cards if you want to check that out, and I don't expect it to stay super organized, you know, like a junk drawer. Right now I'm making a quote page of this poem that I wrote and it says, Pens will be tested, stuff will get swatched, trackers are made, and things might get botched. It will not be perfect, spreads may not be done, but the whole point of journaling is function and fun. I needed to give myself this reminder because I am a perfectionist and I tend to expect everything to look picture perfect all the time, but I need to get it in my head that that's not the point of journaling. It's okay to make mistakes, as long as the journal is functional and fun to make and fill out, that's the whole point. Now I'm breaking into my box of stickers to put some stickers on this piece of craft paper that I just taped in. And the stickers I used are from an Etsy shop that I will have on the screen right here and linked down below if you're interested. I wasn't going to do anything fancy in this bullet journal and I didn't even plan on filming this video but I had this idea to draw a junk drawer on the cover page and I think it ended up coming out super chaotic but super cool. So while you're watching me doodle in everything in the junk drawer, I'm going to explain more about what I want to put in this journal. It's basically going to be a pen tester, a place to put all kinds of swatches, what I'll use for videos to show some beginner bullet journal spreads and tracker ideas, somewhere to test out pages or color schemes for my 2021 bullet journal, and stuff like that. My next video is actually going to be me swatching my entire stationery collection in this journal. And when I mean my entire stationery collection, I'm saying my Tombow Dual brush pens, my Crayola Super Tips, washi tapes, gel pens, fine liners, sharpies. Every single thing I own will be swatched. Nothing is safe. <laughs> so keep an eye out for that. Some things in this junk drawer that you're seeing me draw is a pair of scissors, tape, cards, a pair of dice, a charger, tacks everywhere to fill up space, which now that I'm looking at it, that would actually be very dangerous, um, rubber bands, and some writing utensils. Leave a comment down below and tell me what you have in your junk drawer at home because I'm super curious and I know we all have one, so tell me what's in your junk drawer or the weirdest thing in your junk drawer.
I use my light gray Tombow to color in the scissor blades and give some of the things some shadows and I just want to emphasize that I am not an artist and some of the shadows may be in the wrong places like if you're looking at a picture where the sun would be and that kind of stuff but I'm just winging it and I'm using this as more of a coloring page than an art piece so I'm breaking out my Crayola super tips and I wanted to kind of use primary and secondary colors just very elementary and very fun. I'm not going to talk through this part so you can watch me color and listen to some calming music going on in the background and I'll pick back up when I get to the title. I'm breaking out some more craft paper to tie in the quote page and I'm forewarning you that I attempt to do this title quite a few times, like putting it on wax paper and gluing it on top of the junk drawer, which I didn't end up liking because A, it didn't pop enough and B, it covered up some of the items in the drawer. Then I tried pasting it over the craft paper, but it still didn't pop enough and my white gel pen wouldn't write over the wax paper because it kept wiping off. So I settled on writing on the craft paper with my fine liner and outlining that in a white gel pen. I'm also well aware that I still have those black lines right there, but I felt like going over it with a white gel pen would have caused more attention to it. So I'm just leaving it because I don't think it's that big of a deal. So as I'm sitting here editing, I realized I left this page blank besides the craft paper and I remembered I had clear sticker pockets that I got from Etsy and I wanted to put them on this page and the back for extra sticker storage to make this extra functional.
As I just showed you, this journal has index pages which are titled Contents, and I wanted to make a few more index pages because I'm anticipating needing more due to the amount of swatching and testing I'm planning to do in this journal, so I wanted to make sure I could stay organized and find pages without flipping through the whole book. I don't usually use an index in my regular bullet journal because everything tends to be in order because I've been bullet journaling for two years now, but if you're new to bullet journaling or you're just a really unorganized journaler, an index might be a good idea for you. This journal also has a key page which is perfect if you're planning or putting to-do lists in your journal, and I'm not sure if I need it yet for this journal, but if I end up putting in large to-do lists, I'll fill it out accordingly. I added some light gray lines and did the other two index pages off camera, and I left the title spaces blank on the other two pages on purpose because I already know what the pages are and I just wanted to keep the lines consistent with the overall beginning theme of this bullet journal. My last spread that I'm filling out in this bullet journal is my grid spacing page, which I have in all my other bullet journals so I know how to split pages into halves, thirds, and quarters. And on the other side is a pen test page that I use in my stationary haul. If you were wondering why I already have a page filled out, that's why. And I'm going to put all the pages I've created so far in my index. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe while you're here. Also, don't forget to check out my bullet journal Instagram at Creative Minds Coffee Grinds if you want to see more bullet journal content like this. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.